Hello, my fabulous dream chasers, and welcome back to my channel. I am playing on my laptop this time. Ma'am? Howdy. My sister... Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. ...helped me finally figure out how to use OBS. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. I just hope it records more than 10 minutes. Yay! I do have this game and the next game after this on my iPad, but I just wanted to try out OBS to see how well it would do. So, like I said, hopefully it records more than 10 minutes. Um, I was gonna have my face up here in the upper left corner, but I guess when you open Humongous Entertainment Games, it doesn't allow you to do that, or it could be because I got the games on Steam on my laptop, so Steam just makes your video capture go away. I don't know. I don't know. I took a test video before this, and I sent it to my sister, and hopefully she can help me figure out what's going on. It might be Steam, though. I don't know. So... Anyway, yep, this is Freddy Fish 4, the case of the hogfish rustlers of Briny Gulch. Alright, so let's get started. Aww, cute. Okay, so the ranch is this way. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! I'm raring to go! Oh boy! We're gonna be ranchers! Okay, so... I think these things... Why are these things wearing hats? Oh, they're gonna sing. Let me ride with the tide Let me spend my days outside on Wide open ways Come with me and you'll see the unending harmony of wide open way. We can make it happen. I uh I think this is a parody of a famous song, but I'm not sure what it's called. So. Oh. Let's just go see Cousin Calico. <laughs> Is she okay? Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, uh -oh. my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, no it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? Hmm. I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Awesome. So we're gonna go find the hogfish. Somebody rustled them. Not very nice. Oh, she's... Ooh! Lasso tricks. Cousin Calico can do it all, folks. So... You guys know how in... The third Freddy Fish game, uh, Uncle Blenny had a dogfish for a pet, right? Well, Cousin Calico has hogfish, right? 
So the dogfish did did not talk whatsoever, acted like a normal dog, right? In this game, the hogfish talk as well as make regular pig noises. Or hog noises, whatever you want to call them. So <laughs> I think that's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cool. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Don't forget to subscribe so you can help me find more purple sea urchins. It's basically Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square! Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Freddy interrupted me. <laughs> um, yeah, purple sea urchin. Purple sea urchin. We oh have one purple sea urchin. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> purple sea urchins are basically the fish form of currency. Well, as well as sand dollars, but. So, I believe purple sea urchin... I've been trying to figure this out. I think a purple sea urchin is a quarter. Like, with the uh, US quarter. So... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I decided to start recording at 10 at night, so... Yes, I know. I'm kind of dumb for doing it, but I got bored. Bored of just sitting around doing nothing. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther, and we're helping my cousin Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Hmm. That response was very suspicious. Alright, so... I just want to say ahead of time. Uh, what is he doing? He's trying to hammer a door handle. Wait, why has he got a barbell? What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. This is him when he was little. Did you see this picture? It's my son. Oh. Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby. Don't you think? He has your forearms. Wow, that's a very random thing to say, Freddy. Alright, so as I was trying to say, I want to say ahead of time that I asked in my previous video if doing the commentary bothers you guys or not. And I got a couple of responses that the commentary was just fine. So I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, so we met Nelson over here. Let's uh, go over here. I see some peeps. Oh, they're a. Uh, I think they're squids. Uh... Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. I'm Ape. That's short for apricot. Uh, or um. Uh... Apricot. Yes, his name is Apricot, but they call him Ape for short. 
and I know this because if you click on either the blue guy or the purple woman first instead um, and then click on him he says he goes uh uh apricot Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. I... Yeah, these two are a little... <laughs> um... Sorry, though. I shouldn't judge. Let's see what Granny has to say. Are you sure you don't know anything about the rustlers? Nah, it seems to me that there used to be a club which had meetings in the Sordaloon from time to time. Might check there. Thank you, Granny. And this is the Sordaloon. And there's a piece of paper on the floor. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. All right, we got a combination to something. All right, so who who is this guy jamming it out on the piano? Hi, I'm Freddy. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Eight Fingered Phil. Ooh. Doctor of Piano Ology. At your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. So I can tell you who some, like which characters could be the culprit at the end. So Eight Finger Phil here, he's an option, and then Nelson is an option. Like either one of them, <clears throat> excuse me, can be the bad guy, and then, um, there's another character that we'll meet later that could also be the culprit. It, ju it just changes every time you play the game. There's different scenarios each time you play these games. So, um, yeah. So, Talk to this lady. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. Thanks for the tip, Saltwater Sally. Is that what you said? <laughs> Whenever someone says salt water, I just think of salt water taffy and then I want some. Okay, so... Sorry, I was responding to my sister. So... We can check this thing out, and then we can also order drinks. So let's order a drink. Uh, 
What can I do for you kids? One parsnip soda, please. Ooh. One soda on the house. Parsnip soda. Okay, so the thing you have to do here is click on it to catch it. And yes, Luther catches it every time and hurts his fin every time. Mmm! Mm. Delish. Alright. So... Let's order another drink. I'll show you what happens when we don't catch it. One pumpkin soda, please. You bet! Pumpkin soda. Why is it pink? Ooh. Oops! Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. <laughs> there are all kinds of different flavors that they can order. So let's just do one more. One sweet potato soda, please. What? Coming right up. Go get something good. <laughs> A few of them, they do say that they don't like it. Let's just do that one more time to see if we can get a good flavor. And not a... And not a vegetable flavor. One spicy mango soda, please. There you go. One soda on the house. What, spicy mango? What? The last three sodas have been the same color. There's a lot more spicy in that than there's mango. Yikes! I think so too. Ah! <laughs> a little too spicy for him. All right, so this here is a little short film booth. no I in place. I just realized that after playing this game for years. Scale Rider! I'm looking for Finn Eastwood! Mr. Clint Eastwood. Guppy? Well, do ya? Alright then, that one was a uh, little bit weird. We're just gonna watch all these. <laughs>
um, that's not how you do it. The bowl's not supposed to beat you. <laughs> and then tie you up by the ankles. like, nope. <laughs> Mama mad. <laughs> Lucas was just like, yay, mama. <laughs> These things can be pretty funny. No good. The bad. The fish fish don't wear shoes, so why would would was there shoe sound effect? That must have hurt. I can imagine that hurt. <laughs> He's like, oh, it, it was a puffer fish? Get out of here and see what this combination is for. Ooh. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. Uh oh. I want to talk to you about that note. Ooh. Oh, he knows something about the note. Really? Well, actually, he does that in every gameplay, even if he's not the culprit, so. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, because even if he doesn't turn out to be the culprit, then why do they have him do that? Come on! Let's check out that hatch! Okay! Alright. We're checking out this hatch here. Oh, uh, what was the combination? Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. one, two, three, three, one, two, two. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Furnit, what's that racket? Uh oh. Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. Um, I mean, as long as you're paying attention. Must be one of the rustlers. 
I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Alright, so let's confront this guy. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. Okay. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm. A blue 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an L on it and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for wrestlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the wrestler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. All right, so. Sorry, I'm just opening something over here. So, in every gameplay, the clothing can be different too. Like you can have a purple or an orange hat. Um, as well as a blue hat and then you can either have a bow tie or bandana and then for the belt buckle it can be a different letter like it could be an s or an m or something like that oh wait wait wait, 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 wait. you know how at the end of that note it said then memorize the combination then eat this note well you click on the note and hey freddy can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. No, duh. It, it was a piece of paper with writing on it, of course. Of course, it was gonna taste like paper. All right, so let's go. Uh oh, the hogfish! All right, you hogfish, quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big! Oh. <gasps> yeah. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure those were hogfish. So, for the fish, the current is the wind. Let's go explore. Who are you dudes? You two look like you've got trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. Oh, so you're gonna make me go get it? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Okay. So I guess we'll come back. But, uh, you know, we have to come back anyway because they're making us get the wood. 
So. They're drinking coffee. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Alright, so. He's got the bandana that we need. But. No, sorry, not the bandana. The bow tie. He's got the bow tie that we need. Um. Also, he can be one of the options for the culprit at the end of the game. So, I guess we'll see who it is. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my Monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my. I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Oh. So maybe if we find his harmonica, he'll give us the bow tie. Let's, uh, let's go find his harmonica. Oh, who's this dude? <laughs> E tip it. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Rude. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Good eye, Freddy. Go this way. And look, another purple sea urchin. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Is it because you guys have been subscribing and liking my video? That's good. That's good. We needed more purple sea urchins. Alright. So, let's try to go into this cave. Uh, <laughs> Oh! Yeah! Or not! Doesn't he have anything better to do? I, uh, I guess not if he's trying to eat us. So, maybe we should try to feed him. Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Look out! Oh. Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. Let's see if he'll take a longer time to chew the tire. seems to take him a little longer to chew, but I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. That definitely was not enough time for us to get by. Um, how about the sneaker? 
something for him to chew on long enough for us to get by him. Oh, um, looks like this guy's having some trouble. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now, what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Or, why don't they just call you Udiah? Because, you know, that's your first name. Unless all of that was your first name. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Yeah, you, uh... How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. Two thousand years later. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. See, it, it looks like he moves, but then it doesn't look like he's moved. Let's see if he moves at all. Well, the gap between the letter he dropped and the spot where he is now looks like he's gotten some. I wonder if I stay here long enough if if he'll eventually go off the screen. Oh no. No, he's backing up to get the <laughs> See if we can fix this it wagon. It looks more. like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. In the shape of a hexagon. Not for this guy's wagon, so we'll stop just treading along like that for another two years. So has this guy w been waiting for his package for two years? Gosh, I feel bad. Holy crap. I, I, I know I've heard of snail mail, but that's just ridiculous. Alright, so what did the construction guys say they needed? I think it was... 5 by 5? This should be useful! How did you do that? That's my special secret. 
I guess she just has a random big enough pocket. Wait, what? No, fish don't have pockets unless they wear a jacket with pockets or something. I don't know. Alright. Another purple sea urchin! Hey, Luther! What's round and purple and pokey? Eh, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there! Oh! I wasn't afraid. Have I been getting another sus subscriber for each purple sea urchin I found? I hope so. What's going on here? It looks like we can go in here, but we need some to help make it work. Oh, well, um, there's a crank here. I'm sorry, I know I'm taking a while. I try I'll try to go a bit faster. I apologize. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir! Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. So everyone who could be the culprit does something suspicious. To make it seem like they're the culprit. Alright, let's give you your board. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect! Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Sometimes they can tell you to get 6x6 six six or 7x7. Seven seven. I have never seen them say 8x8 eight eight or 4x4. Four four. Ah, oh, she's got a bad aim. Oh, jeez. There you go. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. I love coffee more than anything. The only thing I love more than coffee is a fresh pot. Give me a fresh pot of coffee. Right now, stat. So... If you couldn't see, he's a hammerhead shark. I'm not sure what kind of shark he is. So I don't think there's a saw shark. Now there's a sword fish. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Thanks. All right. And you guys know who this is. This is Gil Barker from the last game. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. <laughs> Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Okay. Great. And what's this that uh, he dropped? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Oh? Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Poem? That's an awfully strange poem. 
It's because it's not a poem at all. It's, uh... It's, uh... It's a threat. Excuse me. So, we need a nut. So, let's give him some purple sea urchins for it. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. Oh. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Yeah, because we need one. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. Fickle Fit Wheel Nut. No. It, that, that's not right. I, I don't like that name. Right. Well, we have the last one. one. Here's the last purple sea urchin for, for our, our wheel, wheel nut. nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. Okay. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. So, I believe we needed a hexagon. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Which Let's is... buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Which hexagon is usually the shape that nuts are in. Um, in real life. And you know how we needed to find that vicious fish something to chew on long enough for us to get by we need two more purple sea urchins to buy this gum here so let's go find them good oh. evening sir may i interest you in oh. you got the 20 clams you owe me gill uh not exactly how much is not exactly i've got a few purple sea urchins you know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. So, I think I remember that Gil can also be uh, an option as the culprit. Oh look, a 10 gallon hat, we need that. Oh boy, a real 10 gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? can't knock on a hat. So, uh... Luther had every right to be confused. Excuse me, uh... Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver star! You can't be a sheriff without a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. So, um... Um... <laughs> I 
thought it was a gold star meant you were a sheriff. Guess not. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, who's this kid? Amazing! You should see my brother. I, I bet, I bet your brother is much bigger than you. All right, so we need some way of getting him out of the way. All right. So, oh, what's this? Oh, look at this! You can... Wanted, Crooked, Finn Clifford by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Coral Heaven. Okay, so... Last game, we were able to design our own criminal. Now we can design our own outlaw. So everything looks different on each fish. Uh, a few crazy no Zelda. What? Oh look, you can change the uh. Wanted crazy no Zelda by the. Wanted crazy no Zelda. Sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of starfish tickling. Oh, jeez. That just sounds weird. Oh, look, a cave. The trick here is to click is to click at the right time so you don't get stuck. We made it! And I did it. I knew we could do it. And uh, look at this. Is this the crank that we needed? It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah. I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Oh look, another purple sea urchin. Let's get another subscriber. Look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. One subscriber equals one purple sea urchin for these two We're kids. rich! <laughs> So please, please subscribe. <laughs> Alright. So it's weird, when you go back, 
they all stay at the top until you go by, and then if you come back again, they're going up and down again. I never got why that was a design in the game, but it is. It is. So. So we need to find the Sheriff of Silver Star. And now we have a crank, so... Oh, I went the wrong way. Let's have one purple seer team equal one subscriber. So we've found four in the game so far, so hopefully that's four more subscribers. Let's get me up to a hundred subscribers. There, actually. it fits perfectly. I knew that handle belonged somewhere. Awesome. I just drink him some nice cold water. This water is good. All right, so let's crank this handle. Here, let me help. the one spinning not the room so now that we've done that and the sail came down this is now full of water hey look this place is filled with water now that's what I just said Luther I just Heard something go off outside. Alright. Look, another purple sea urchin. Another subscriber. Please. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin. Okay, so let's explore around here. Oh, um, what letter did we need? I think these wrestler outfits look nice. Hmm, a blue ten-gallon hat. We needed the letter L. Look at this cute spice container. This yeah. could come in handy. So we need the letter L, so we're going to have to look somewhere else for it, because this is none of the ones we need. Okay, so, and let's see what these things are. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? Uh-oh. Luther! It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding! I kinda like it, though. She wasn't kidding, Luther. Right, let's try the red one.
It's cayenne. Uh -oh. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. It's really hot. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. That reminds me of that scene from Aladdin where Jafar pulls on Genie's beard and Genie's mouth goes back up and rolls up like that. gonna figure out what I'm getting at. We got the spice container, we got pepper, we have that fish that was in our way. There! One container of pepper. Eat cake. Um, here, try it. No, but it's chocolate. It doesn't matter. Pigs don't eat cake. Yeah. Exactly. That's why they're throwing it at you. So that rustler and the one guarding the hideout door, they're just rustler henchmen to the big boss. And that's, her, and that's who we're gonna figure out at the end is who is the big boss. So let's get our pack of gum now. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Ta-da. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. All right, so you can actually have Freddy and Luther both try the gum before you give it to the- It's gum. The fish. I think I'll try some of that gum we bought. I'm not gonna unwrap it. Ugh. Ew, I'm not sure this is even gum. It tastes like rubber. Um, even if she chewed it a bit, it's gum. It would have came out in a sort of a ball, not back to a stick. Hey, Freddy, can I have a piece of that gum? Sure. Mmm, this is really chewy. Mm. I think I... Mm. Mm. Oops, huh. I swallowed 
on it. That's okay. We'll just be stuck in you for seven years. I'm kidding. That's that myth that your parents tell you that gum will be stuck in you for seven years if you swallow it. No, that is not what happens. Um, Dr. Mike Warshawski <sighs> on YouTube can explain what actually happens. Like whenever I feel like watching educational content, I watch Dr. Mike. Cause he is just the best. And his meme reviews are hilarious. So perfect. Alright, so let's get by this fish now. Yep, just gonna give him the whole rest of the pack. Okay, we did not need to see his uvula shaking. That ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah! Oh, he's Actually, a shark. He looks very happy. Oh. We could have fed him some of this over here. But it would have just been the same result as the tire, the shoe, and the anchor. And here we go. Here's all the starfish. And we need the silver one for the sheriff. I like this silver starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. It's exactly like the one that you saw. So. Alright, so now... Let's go finally use our wheel nut to fix... Um... Fix guy's... Wheel. To fix... Use wheel. <laughs> any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. Elmer's glue? Elmer's glue. What's he got against glue? You've been waiting two years for it, my gosh. Poor guy. Alright, so let's see if we can take this. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Oh. I'm gonna Thank use you. that. I'm gonna use that for part of our belt buckle. I know, guys, I'm sorry. This is a long game. I'm probably at an hour already. Um, I really do apologize. See, if I wasn't doing all the commentary, I would have gotten through this really fast. Or, well, it was... It's a silver starfish! At least faster than this, but... I'm doing commentary, so. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10 gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, oh, if you'll Freddy. excuse me, 
There are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there, that's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride. Yeah. Why didn't we just chase the oh, sheriff? Oh boy, a 10 gallon hat. This is great. How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Oof. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. It's a pretty big hat for a little guy like you, Luther. So, I... Hold on. All right, you hogfish, pay attention. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please just go to sleep, please. Chase, you look tired. All right, so as I was gonna say, is I could break this up into parts, but then it would just be the same length if you watched them all together. So. Here, try some pepper. Okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, Luther loves his worm doodles. Kelp mine. And look, there's the L we need. And there's the harmonica that we need to trade for the guy's bow tie. So, um, I was also going to say that I am cutting out some parts, as you're gonna see when you watch this, um, that I've cut out some parts where I was cleaning up my room and getting, clearing off my bed and getting ready to lay down. So. Right. Hey! A harmonica! Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Yeah, it is kind of hard. L. So now it's just going to be the cat mines. That's got it. Cap mine. Alright. So we've got almost everything we need now. Go give the guy his harmonica so he can give us the bow tie. And then we'll go see uh, Nelson for him to make us a belt buckle out of the old mailbox door and the L. And then we're gonna dye the hat blue with the squid's blue ink and we'll be all ready to go catch wrestlers. It's a harmonica. Here. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Wow. 
Wow, he's good. Well, this is great. Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thank. Awesome. Oh. He's Thank so you happy. so much. Now I can play the blues again. He's so happy. Oh. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. Gobi. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Oops. Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Nelson, can you make us belt buckle? Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> Apparently, yes. Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back. Yikes! Luther, why are you scared? There's nothing to be afraid of. My best work! All that's missing is a belt. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Thanks, Nelson. wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Well, we're non-rustlers. But we're gonna dress like a rustler so we can get in. So we need this dude to spit. Yup. And we're gonna dye the hat blue. Like we need. <laughs> They're so grossed out. She is so disgusted and Luther's like, this is cool. the color we needed, so I'm glad you like it, Freddy. Alright. Honestly, I don't get why we get dressed back there. Instead of right here. Because he's right here. So he's watching us get put all these all this stuff on. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! This should make my disguise even better. It does! 
and then the belt. That's a great wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. I think she kind of needs to grow into that belt. <laughs> or make it a little tighter. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Oh. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? Nobody knows my sorrow. It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Yep. So there's a hatch door here. Hey! It looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! Well, then take the bottom one. There! That does it. All right. Yeah! And here we go. Oh, they took our screwdriver. Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Hmm. See? The hogfish can talk. All right, so what's this over here? Ice blocks and telegram? What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying, stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop, you know who. Hmm, very interesting. I think I know who wrote that. Maybe telegram. we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I'm I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I'm surprised Freddy didn't get scratched, because I saw some po pokey edges on that hole. So we come over here, and there's something behind here, so we need to come up here. And we just need to, you know, turn the wheel. Look! I'm the captain! Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there! So you know how that, the fish we got the bold tie from? Like, I'm just thinking out loud here. The guy, the one we got the bow tie from. I think he said his name was Sasperla Slim. That just makes me think of Alameda Slim. He's the villain in the Disney movie, Home on the Range. And he's a rustler. 
So honestly, I think they might have referenced this game off of Home on the Range. I could be wrong, but it's pretty similar in a way. So yeah. Look, a hook. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? Like Captain Hook? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. That would probably be safer than almost hitting Freddy in the head with it a million times. Alright, so what we do here is we put the hook on this chain right here. The chain? There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. The chain is connected to the anchor here. So we're gonna put the hook on the window. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna press the button. And then you'll see what happens. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? <sighs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. Uh -huh. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. Thanks. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> yep. When the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? All right. It's the one who wrote the telegram. Because the telegram and the block of ice. It's, uh, Slim. Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim oh, sending Sahara Slim. a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also... Um... There's a, um... Uh a glitch there. Um, Freddy's voice was coming out of Luther's mouth. Um, Humongous Entertainment, you might want to check that out and fix it. <laughs> yeah. I found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just... Uh-oh. It happened again. 
Oh, boy. Shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. And now their mouths weren't even moving. Like, what the heck? You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, <laughs> Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Oh, yeah. How's their immunity service. service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. I think I recognize that voice already. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! So I took a screenshot of him now, posing like that. Come on, like you that. two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Took a screenshot of Luther posing like that. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. And um, that screenshot was my iPad background for I think a year. All right. So that was the end of Freddy Fish Four kind of interesting huh and yeah I, I got the I got the fish's name wrong it's Sahara Slim not not Sarsaparilla Slim I don't know why I thought it was Sarsaparilla I guess Sahara is like never used in any conversation unless you're talking about the Sahara Desert so yeah. So this was Freddy Fish 4. The case of the hog fish rush. The case of the hog fish rustlers of Briny Gulch. My gosh, I don't know why it's so hard to say that. Alright, so. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, suggest any other games you want me to play if you want me to play the little mini games like um for example uh putt putt and peps balloon o rama uh putt putt and peps dog on a stick spy fox and cheese chase um pajama sam softworks all that um then let me know down in the comments below and let me know if you want me to play the big thinkers games which those games there's two of them but they're just basically mini games inside of a game so if you just want me to do a series on it and like do a video where i do each mini game within the game then I can do that. And then... Or if you just want me to do it as a whole video, like I've been doing with the rest of these, then I can do that as well. So let me know down in the comments below what you think oh of those darling, things. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine! Okay, Luther. So, let me know down in the comments below what you would like me to do. Um, also, do you guys like my gaming videos better than anything else I've done on the channel? Um, 
I mean, I do like doing singing videos, and that's what I want to hopefully get recognized for. But if you guys end up liking um If you guys end up liking the gameplays better, then just let me know. Like, because I don't know what everyone's into these days. Everyone's into a bunch of different stuff. I don't know what a majority of you guys like. Um, so just let me know down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button. If, if, if you don't smash the subscribe button, are, are you even a YouTuber? No, I'm, that's, that's not it. Hope that didn't mess up the audio just now. I accidentally unplugged my headset and then plugged it back in. So I hope that didn't mess up the audio. Um, yeah. If you don't say smash like in your videos, are you even a YouTuber? Oh my darling! Oh! Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, wish she was mine. Okay. Yeah, if you just sit here for a while, Luther starts singing and stuff. Um. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be Freddy Fish 5. I love you, Dream Chasers. Do you really want to quit?